All right, ED sources to CNN News 18 are saying that Sanjay Roth, who we've been talking about over the last hour, he's being raided as we speak. Raids are being conducted as he jumped to summons. After the raids, he will be questioned and his statement will be recorded. In all likelihood, once raids are over, he will be taken into the ED office. Arrest, required or not, will be decided later. Those are the developments we have right now. My colleague Ashish Meharishi who tracks the Enforcement Directorate, is with us right now to bring us updates. Ashish, just for our audiences, if you could break down, does that mean that as we speak, uh, the questioning for Roth has not actually started? So as we speak, what I've been told is that the raids are being conducted as of now. And once the raids get over, then there, is, there will be a session of questioning. The questioning can happen either at the residence of Sanjay Roth or it could be in the even in the office of uh, the enforcement directorate. So my sources tell me that in all likelihood he will be taken to the enforcement directorate office. Whether he will be arrested or not, that will be decided later in the evening. But it looks to be on the face of it that he could be arrested because you know if you remember that he was he skipped two summons and that is why the enforcement directorate has gone to his house today. Now going into the background of this story, the background is basically it's a Patra Chol scam in which. Uh, uh, the enforcement director at Berlin and their allegation is that Varsha Roth, who is the wife, along with Praveen Roth and some other people, they basically benefited out of a company called Guru Ashish, which was basically a, a subsidiary of HDIL. We all know that HDIL is accused of scam in the, the PMC bank. And finally, the uh, you know, if you remember, uh, assets worth more than 11 crore rupees were, were attached by the enforcement director, which include a, a flat, a house, in the name of Varsha Roth, and uh, the enforcement director believe that this house has been procured from the proceeds of crime of the PMC and the HDIL scam. So Sanjay Roth uh, wants, uh, basically the enforcement director wants to know his business association with Praveen Roth. We know Praveen Roth is already arrested. He's in judicial custody as of now. The, the enforcement director wanted to question him, but he, he purposely skipped. That is what the allegation is, that he purposely skipped those summons. And finally, we are seeing enforcement directorate at his house. In all likelihood, we can expect him to be taken to the enforcement directorate office in a while from now. All right. Uh, Ashish, we actually have some more breaking news coming, and I'm going to go very quickly to that. Thank you. All right, this is an update coming from my colleague Herman, who is present on the ground outside Sanjay Roth's residence, I believe. Sanjay Roth's lawyer has now entered inside the apartment. Uh, very quickly, let's connect with Herman to understand more. Herman, over to you. Uh, well, yes, Toya, in fact, just now we have just seen uh, one of the lawyers of Mr. Sanjay Roth has gone inside his apartment where he is being questioned by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, so this, in a way, clearly is that he's prepared for the next battle, his next battle. All likelihood we are told is that uh, he would be taken into the ED office uh, at Balat Pia where he'll be questioned. Uh, whether it is to be arrested or not, that is to be decided later. But even as we speak now, more than three hours uh, that, there that you have Mr. Sanjay Rao uh, being questioned by the enforcement directorate in the uh, land camp. And this, it's a, a huge uh, number of supporters here, so it's a bit chaotic. Uh, but the Mumbai police is here, the CRPF personnel who uh, have been deployed here. Uh, but here we have uh, the lawyer who has gone inside. So clearly, uh, Mr. Sanjay Raut being in the in battle mode as he prepares for the next legal battle. All right, Herman, thank you so much for bringing us those uh, updates for our